We may find all kids adorable and cute while performing on screen. However, some child stars have aged so horribly that you could not trust your eyes. This list showcases the 20 formerly cute kid stars who aged horribly in the long run. There's always this stigma that some child actors' careers seem to suffer once they turn from adorable kids to adult, and this list proves that. Get ready to know the top 20 cute kids who aged badly. Macaulay Culkin we all thought Macaulay Culkin was super cute as he outsmarted burglars who were totally attempting to kill him. We even endured watching him the second time when he got on the wrong plane to New York City. As Culkin got older, he aged badly each year. He managed to snag Mila Kunis for a while there, but even she moved on to bigger and better things after he grew too scraggly. This child prodigy became a rock star with a drug habit. It's a shame he had a bright future in store for him as an actor. In 1994, he took a break from acting after his 15th film in seven years, wanting a normal life, he went to a private high school in Manhattan. Amanda Bynes Growing up, she starred as a cute kid in the Nickelodeon series All That and The Amanda Show before moving on to star in the hit WB series What I Like About You. In 2013, she was arrested at her place in Manhattan for criminal possession of substance and was charged with tampering with evidence. Her mental health was deteriorating rapidly and it showed all over her demeanor when she started donning bizarre outfits and wigs to hide her face. Poor thing. Definitely she belongs on the list of actors who aged badly. Jake Lloyd He is the angelic cherub that played the part of Anakin Skywalker as a child in the Star Wars saga. Today, he has landed on the list of celebrities who aged badly and has long departed from Hollywood. In 2012, Lloyd explained that his decision to retire from acting in 2001 was due to bullying at school. As a result, he decided to destroy all his Star Wars memorabilia. On March 2015, police responded by Lloyd on his mother, Lisa Riley. In a statement to Indianapolis Metro Police Department, Riley alleged he arrived at her house and began verbally berating her. On June 17, 2015, he was arrested in South Carolina under the name of Jake Broadbent for reckless driving. Lindsay Lohan the adorable redhead with the cute freckles that we saw in The Parent Trap has transformed herself into a plastic doll with endless Botox. Celebrity Lohan's life and career ran off the rails starting in her disastrous year of 2007 when she was twice convicted of drunk driving, once for cocaine use, made three trips to rehab and served an 84-minute jail stay. Lohan, who considers herself an expert on rehab facilities, indeed aged horribly. Sean Astin Ah, uh, Sean Astin, the actor from The Goonies. Astin played the lovable, dorky Mikey Walsh, who ran around with his inhaler and braces. In the early 2000s, the actor seemed to cement his legacy by starring in the Lord of the Rings trilogy as Samwise Gamgee, the hobbit who follows the main hobbit around as he tries to destroy a ring. Even though he is still considered Hollywood royalty, Astin does not look the same way he did in his youth. But that's okay, he's still a damn good actor. Lark Voorhees Remember rushing home from your own awful reality of middle or high school in order to catch up with Zach Morris and the rest of the Bayside High gang on Saved by the Bell? She was always wearing the latest trends, which seemed to match her sassy personality. However, if you were to see her in real life today, you'd end up doing a double take. While there have been rumors surrounding her appearance, her mom claims she is bipolar and sources say she has lupus. Lark has never confirmed them. In fact, the 41-year-old who has aged badly has gone out of her way to deny such claims in interviews that just left the audience even more confused. Corey Feldman He was one of the IT Corys of the 1980s. He made us laugh at the Goonies, Stand By Me, and the Burbs, freaked us out with the Lost Boys, and even made us endure his ridiculous singing voice. Feldman was the ultimate dude type of guy, but it didn't hold over well when he became an adult. Drugs entered the mix in the early 90s. He attempted on multiple occasions to reboot his career, but would always end up falling flat on his face with each and every attempt. Angus T. Jones I've sat through more than a few episodes of the IQ-stealing Two and a Half Men. It's not something I'm proud of or ever will be proud of. 
Actor Angus T. Jones played Jake Harper, the dim-witted son of John Cryer's character, Alan Harper. All three of those idiots lived together in a Malibu beach house and lived season to season running off ironic fart jokes and easy toilet humor. But growing up didn't serve him any better. He was still portrayed as an immature dummy on the show. These days, he looks like he belongs in a tiny cabin in the woods, angrily writing hate letters to the government. Zachary Ty Bryan be honest, if you were a middle school girl in the 90s, you didn't tune in to watch Home Improvement for the older brother Brad Taylor, played by Zachary Ty Bryan. Poor Zachary, always overshadowed by his little brother. He moved behind the camera and began producing back in 2008 and went on to raise his own family, which probably works out great for him. It's hard to think that Brad Taylor would let his body go so much since that improvement character was so stinking vain. Jeremy Miller Wait, that's Ben Seaver from Growing Pains? Talk about going through a major growing pain yourself there, buddy. Miller went on to star in an episode of Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego and Family Guy. After that, much like Zachary Ty Bryan, Miller played no further roles in any shows or movies. Instead, focused on raising his own family. He did reveal that he started drinking alcohol by the delicate age of four and suffered from alcohol abuse for years following. Luckily, he was able to obtain help and become a spokesperson for Fresh Start Private Management Inc., which is a rehabilitation center that helped him kick his habit. Clint Howard Young Clint Howard started his career the exact same way his big brother did, by starring on The Andy Griffith Show. While Ron, now an aged kid, was the main child actor on the show, Clint appeared in five episodes as a toddler. After that, the younger Howard would go on to be that one guy you see in literally everything but can never remember his name. Even Kevin Spacey was one before he finally broke out of the supporting actor mold. Howard not only did TV, he jumped into some pretty big budget films as well, but always as a bridesmaid, never a bride. MTV recognized him and his screen achievements and awarded him a Lifetime Achievement Award back in 1998. Austin St. John if you belong to the 90s, you'd never admit to actually watching that dang Power Rangers show. Their uniforms were hideous and cheaply made, and they switched up actors every other year. Anyway, actor Austin St. John, a child star who aged horribly, was apparently the Red Ranger for a couple of seasons. I'm sure he looked all great doing high kicks in the air to some people, but apparently not to the producers of the show itself. He was eventually replaced by Steve Cardenas and played the Gold Ranger in Power Rangers. These days, he's starring in short films and hiding from the public. The Olsen Twins Stars of the small screen from their earliest childhood, you could simply eat the Olsen Twins. However, today, between anorexia, plastic surgery, and overuse of Botox, the two blondes will never be the same. Both Olsen Twins shared the role of Michelle Tanner on Full House for the entire run of the series until it ended in 1995. Mary-Kate and Ashley were successful by producing multiple TV and film projects when they were just six. Their jointly owned company, Dual Star, made them millions at a very young age. Frankie Muniz He was nominated for both an Emmy Award and a Golden Globe Award, but that was about it. In 2003, he was considered one of Hollywood's most bankable teens, but then he decided to put his acting on hold while he focused on open-wheel racing. According to People, the actor has endured several concussions from competing in the dangerous sport, and in 2009 he suffered a serious car crash. This ultimately led to two mini-strokes, one in 2009 and one in 2012. As a result, he has experienced crippling memory loss. Haley Joel Osman We cried along with the young Haley Joel Osman when he saw dead people and helped actor Bruce Willis revive his career with The Sixth Sense. He was so damn good in that movie, you'd assume he'd move on to have an incredibly satisfying career in Hollywood. I thought there were so many Oscars in his future. Little did I know he would grow up to look like the pudgy rat in a low-budget mob movie. After Sense, he kept up his adorable precious child routine with artificial intelligence, secondhand lions, and pay it forward with Kevin Spacey. But after that, he sort of fell off the planet. At least that's what it seemed like, since he kept taking smaller roles in no movies and no TV shows. These days, he's starring in low-budget television shows. Charlie Cosmo an actor that you may or may not remember from the film Hook. 
Charlie Corsmo played the role of the young boy. Today, the ex-actor has changed his career and become a lawyer. Corsmo was born in Fargo, North Dakota, the son of Deborah Ruff, an educational psychologist. Corsmo's acting roles included the kid Tracy Jr. in Dick Tracy, Siggy, the son of Richard Dreyfuss's character in What About Bob, and Jack Banning, the son of Peter Pan in the 1991 film Hook. His final film role until 2019 was the supporting character William Lichter in the 1998 film Can't Hardly Wait. Dustin Diamond Honestly, did anyone really think he would age gracefully? He aged horribly. He was always trailing after bestie Zach Morris or wagging his tongue at Lisa, who he followed around like a little puppy. Something we all could have gone three lifetimes without knowing, back in 2006, he directed and released his very own tape titled Screeched, Saved by the Smell. He moved on to reality TV with Celebrity Fit Club and Hulk Hogan's Celebrity Championship Wrestling. He then wrote a book named Tell All about what went on behind the scenes of Bell and of course, pissed off all his former actor friends. Danny Bonaduce while some child actors grow up to be less than attractive, Danny Bonaduce managed to be downright scary when he entered adulthood. The actor played Danny Partridge on The Partridge Family, which shot him headfirst into fame. Since he was pretty much born with a face made for radio, that's exactly what he did. He has hosted his own show in Chicago called The Danny Bonaduce Show on the Loop from 1994 to 1996. Bonaduce also happens to be an ordained minister as well, but to be frank, who isn't these days? Taryn Noah Smith After Home Improvement ended, Smith revealed that the moment the series wrapped, he knew he wanted to quit acting. Smith certainly has done other things, trying his hand at numerous different ventures. Being a vegan for the majority of his life, Smith founded Play Food, a food company solely for vegans. After that didn't really hit the ground running, Taryn, who aged horribly, then became an installation artist for big events like Coachella, telling that he made temples out of trash. Eventually, Smith would move on to help his dad build energy-efficient water purifiers that are now used overseas by military forces. Edward Furlong Before we begin, click that like button to inspire us. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by this type of ultimate fact. This Terminator 2 child star was set to become a major star, but struggles with drugs, alcohol, abuse, prison, and rumors of underage sex destroyed his chances. He was picked up from obscurity in 1991, aged just 13, to become a star in one of the decade's biggest blockbusters. He's admitted publicly in court that he's completely breaking. According to IMDb, Furlong only starred in one film in 2015 and hasn't had a theatrically released film in 10 years. Despite this, Furlong is still believed to be a talented actor, yet terribly aged celebrity. What are your suggestions for these type of kids? Don't forget to comment below. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take good care of yourself.